hi guys and welcome to another video it's official the iphone 7 and the iphone 7 plus along with the apple watch series 2 and the apple airpods have been announced i'm very excited apple has finally added a bunch of new features and capabilities to the new iphone and iphone 7 that they should have added maybe a couple of um iphones back two new amazing colors have been released jet black and black both of these colors look amazing in the photos and on stage can't wait to get my hands on them uh, finally iphone 7 has been updated dramatically by making it splash and water resistant the new home button has been connected to the taptic engine so you'll be able to feel the haptic feedback when you're using the button to unlock uh, to open up the um, wallet uh, to use Apple Pay so all these little features they make the experience of the iPhone uh, a lot more uh, better to use and it's different compared to the other phones iPhone 7 has 12 megapixel camera with the optical stabilization and 7 megapixel front-facing HD camera for FaceTime with the all-new quad LED true tone flash now exclusive as rumored for the iPhone 7 Plus, you have the dual camera with two time optical zoom and telephoto lens. I can't wait to test this out and get my hands on them and take some great photos outdoors and on low light. The screen resolution hasn't changed much in this iPhone, but the screen has gone a lot brighter thanks to the wide color gamut, which makes it 25% brighter compared to the other iPhones. So this is a welcome change. The all new A10 chip, which is two times faster and than the iPhone 6, of course it is. I don't even know why Apple even says it's two times faster than iPhone 6. Of course it's gonna be two times faster. It's a two years old phone. I mean, um, come on Apple, <laughs> what, what are you playing at? Uh, according to Apple, you get an additional one out of battery on the 7 Plus compared to the 6 Plus. Um, the stereo speakers on the iPhone, as rumored, Apple has removed the headphone jack, which has caused a big stir in the tech world. This is to go along with the Apple AirPods. I'm not too fussed about it. I think it's a great move by Apple because I don't really like wires. Um, and in the next next year or so, everything's going to be wireless anyway with the headphones. So um, I think it's a great change. But um, you know, there are some people out there that love to use the uh, um, uh, the headphone jack. So uh, Apple will be including a um, adapter for um, for your headphones, but it still doesn't solve the problem of charging and listening to music at the same time. So, which is the downside uh, for you guys. Um, and finally, faster 4G LTE. This is something that Apple has constantly been improving on, which is a welcome, welcome improvement and change, obviously. Um, let's talk about the Apple Watch. There's now two series within the Apple Watch category. The Series 1 is the same Apple Watch as before, except it now has a dual-core chip inside to make, uh, make it much faster so the new OS uh, can run smoothly. The animations can be a lot more um, smoother. Uh, no jittering and no lag um, and of course introducing the new Apple Watch Series 2 um, it's got a built-in it looks the same uh, looks exactly the same as the first one the same thickness everything's the same it's, it's got a built-in GPS and it's water resistant up to 50 meters welcome change great change I mean you don't have to worry about taking it off every time you want to uh, jump in a pool or go swimming or anything like that it's a great change I mean the speaker pushes out the water out of the watch once the workout has been completed, which I think is great, great tech just in a little piece of um, a device, uh, um, you know, which is welcome. Uh, as for the internal, it has a dual core chip and faster GPU. There's also a new display, it's brighter, it's got a thousand nits, which uh, lights up the display a lot um, in the daytime, which is more than clear to see when the sun is shining. Uh, it's the brightest display Apple has ever made. Um, and of course the new Nike Plus uh, sport watch and uh, which looks okay which uh, which I'm not a big fan of but it looks great um, and of course the watch edition looks beautiful in the uh, ceramic white which retails for over a grand and 200 uh, which is a lot of money for the Apple watch let's mo move on to the all-new Apple AirPods uh, 
built-in Siri and a whole new W1 chip. Apple claims it has more than 24 hour battery life with the charging case and up to five hours of battery life on a single charge. So a decent, not, uh, not that long of a battery life uh, on a single charge, but it's, it's, it's still better than uh, some. Uh, it's easy to set up and has seamless switching between your Apple devices, uh, which is always a welcome um, feature. So there's tons of new features this time around, but, it's, but is it really worth upgrading from a 6S or a 6S Plus? Well, not really, unless you've been waiting for the jet black color or the black color. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, if you've just recently bought an iPhone 6S, do you really wish that you waited and got a 7? Um, or are you happy with the 6S? Or uh, I personally think if you've had, if you're on the 5S, yes, it's definitely worth it. 6, maybe. 6S, definitely not worth um, upgrading just yet. Uh, but let me know guys what you think leave in the comment below uh, which model you prefer and which color or will you be waiting for the 7s um, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit the like button i have ordered all of the iphones the apple watches so make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll be posting those unboxing and other amazing videos when i get hold of them so thank you for watching take care guys see you in the next video